Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. And today we're going to show you how to install a free Office suit on your Windows 8 8.1 machine. Um, a lot of people asked me, um, is there a free uh, Microsoft Office? And the answer is no. There's no free version of Microsoft Office. And the uh, basic version starts at like a hundred something dollars which is expensive if you don't do much and you just want to see or open some word or powerpoints or excel documents but there's a free alternative that's quite interesting it's actually pretty good and uh, for most people it actually is good enough that they will probably use it as their main office uh, software so where do you get that famous free office software well open your favorite web browser at the top on the address bar just type www.openoffice.org it's going to bring you to open office which is uh, the is now part of the apache um, group uh, just go down and click i want to download open office and there you click here you'll see download OpenOffice 4.0.1. Click here for the most recent version. It is 127 megabytes. So keep in mind that it could be a long download. So you click that big blue, uh, green bar with the arrow. Here you are and your download should start. So you see it here at the bottom left where it is on my screen starts uh, downloading. Now keep in mind, one of the biggest problems of the download of OpenOffice is not only your internet connection, if you're on a slow connection, 127 megabytes is a big download. But one of the biggest problems that I've seen in the download process of OpenOffice is slow downloads. I've noticed that on some of the links that they send you to download, the downloads are so slow actually that it can take up to a few hours to download even if you have a fast internet connection uh, so a lot of the servers for the uh, open office are quite slow what I do is when I am somewhere and I see that it's too slow what I'll do is I'll stop the download go back to the page and ask again for a download most of the times uh, what it does it changes servers and it changes the area where it's gonna download from once you download it, it's going to be either somewhere on your computer, maybe in your download folder, you'll have to check. Remember the name, which is called Apache OpenOffice EXE. Uh, if you're using Internet Explorer or most browsers, if you haven't changed anything, we'll put this file in the download folder. But be careful, look where it downloads and it is on your computer. It can be on your desktop, in your documents folder, anywhere. Once it's downloaded, you'll find the Apache OpenOffice EXE file. Uh, you can also go into your charms bar and click the search if you don't know where it is and type Apache blah blah blah. It's going to show you where it is and you can click on it from there if you don't know where it is in your computer. So once you've clicked it's going to start the install process. Click yes on the first. Click next. Sorry if it's in French. Uh, here you'll have the uh, de decompress and it's going to install. It usually installs directly into your um, version of or language of your computer. So that's why mine is French because my official language in my computer is French. So here you'll click next, next. You'll uh, leave it at a, the, the, the typical install. Click next. Uh, it says, do you want to have these uh, open office things on your uh, desktop or icons on your desktop? You, you'll leave that check mark and click install. And then you'll see that install process going through. It is a big install, so on a slower machine it might take a little time, but um, typically maximum a few minutes. So you'll leave it at the install process right there. Um, what does Open Office give you? Well, it pretty much gives you all what Office 
gives you so it uh, actually gives you a word processor that replaces word it gives you a, a spreadsheet that replaces excel it does have a powerpoint like feature that's uh, replacing powerpoint uh, has a feature for access it has a um, i believe a drawing program we'll see it when we start it up so you leave it installed it uh, is I would say about 98% compatible with oh, with Microsoft Office, so it will open documents, it will open PowerPoints, Excel files, uh, pretty much. The only problems that I've seen is if you're an advanced user for Microsoft Office, then you're in trouble because the advanced features might not show up correctly in OpenOffice. But we're probably talking about less than, you know, 5% of the people watching this video that are going to have a problem with open office and even less than that I pro probably uh, um, I would say even less than two two percent uh, of all the people that I've installed it on their computers um, I would say that most people kept it where people don't keep it usually is because you have people that you know will exchange files with other with companies and other users and um, for business, Open Office is not necessarily the best. Um, Microsoft Office is still the king of uh, the Office suit. Once it's finished, well, you click the exit or the finish. And if we look on my desktop, I'll uh, just put the view to show desktop icons. Uh, you will should have on your desktop Open Office, that little uh, round, blue round uh, circle with kind of birds in it. Uh, if you don't see it on your desktop, check on your installed file. So if you click that little arrow on the start screen, you should see um, Open Office Writer, Open Office, Open Office Math, Impress, Draw, Calc, Base, uh, somewhere. You can also search for it in the uh, charms bar by clicking the search and just typing uh, Open office and you'll see op open office show up the different um, options of office base calc drawing etc etc if you have the icon on your um, desktop well when you click on it it opens the open office 4 you just have a little bit of a setup to do enter your name and uh, initials and then click finished and there you will have this little open office 4 so you've got um, a word processor which is uh, available so open office text you'll have of course if you click a uh, equivalent of open office calc which is the equivalent of Excel, as you see here, really resembles Excel a lot. Uh, if you see here, Open Office Writer is the equivalent of Word, and it, it looks like an old version of Word. It doesn't have that feel of the new ribbon look of uh, Office, but it does have the same feel and look as an old version um, of Office, though. And it is quite powerful. It has a lot of the features that you can find in Office. You have the PowerPoint version, which is, um, if you look here, let's start one. Here we go. It does really look like a PowerPoint here. And this is Impress. Impress is what is the equivalent of PowerPoint. You also have this one, which is Draw, and um, which is more of a little drawing type uh, program like paint I would say you have the other one that is simply called base base is the equivalent of Microsoft access if you want to create a uh, database of um, an example get one, you have all these movies on DVD and want to do a, dat a database of all the movies you own you can do a database in this uh, base version and they open all the files that you have from office and there's finally the last one here which is 
Math, uh, which is a very complex um, app if you are into math and science. There are some models available if you want to check for some models. And um, so it's really a complete suit. It, if you don't have any Office suit installed on your computer, this will actually add all the um, uh, update all of the uh, files in your computer. So if you have a doc file for Word, and uh, well, it's going to open in Open Office automatically. It's going to get to that point. One little word of caution because that's probably what happens the most often for a lot of people. If you exchange files with your friends or with other people, keep in mind that when you're using Writer, and if you want to um, save a file on your computer, the default file, and look at the default file at the bottom of this window, it's ODF or ODT. This is an open office document file. If you send this to a friend that has Microsoft Office, he won't be able to open it. So be careful and save the file has a Microsoft Word 97 2000 type file if you want to have the possibility to share with others. Be careful with that. If everybody's in open office, it doesn't matter. It will open the OD, ODT file. But if you are sending out, you're sending out your uh, uh, resume to a company, for example, and it's written in open office, make sure you saved it as a Word document and not as an ODT file, because there's a good possibility they won't be able to open it on the other end. So that's how you install OpenOffice, the equivalent of Microsoft Office, but totally, totally free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask away. If you have a video, a feature of Windows that you'd like us to talk about, why not let us know. And uh, if you subscribe to our channel, well, you'll be informed when new videos are online, which is always cool. We already passed the 2,000 subscriber mark, which is quite nice and uh, still going on. So uh, it's really cool. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.